to the $7,000 PC unboxing video. So a big thank you to M-Wave who have hooked this up. Uh, they've hooked me up with a brand new PC, which I so dearly need. They've also hooked it up with a monitor as well. I'm gonna go over all the specs and everything that are in these bad boys. Of course, they'll be in the description as well if you guys wanna check out the full setup. And if you live in Australia, hit up M-Wave if you wanna build any type of uh, PC, cause uh, they hooked it up for the boy. So on top of the PC, I've also got a bunch of other things as well for my computer setup. Uh, today's video is going to be a lot about my computer setup, just completely transforming the thing and making sure it looks extra sick. So on top of the PC, I've also picked up a uh, Ninja Inferno. Preston told me to pick this bad boy up, it's so I don't have to have a laptop down when I'm recording my face cam, and it'll come out really good. And you had to get an SSD card for it, so boycott the terabyte SSD. We'll get into those later, but it's all about the PC. Also, big thank you Elgato, hooked it up with uh, one of these bad boys, one of the inbuilt uh, Elgato things. That's gonna go huge. And uh, let's get to it. All right, so setting things off, this is the motherboard box for our computer. As you can see, we're rolling the Prime X299 Deluxe from ASUS, um, awesome. And of course, it's got like all the cables and stuff. So we got a uh, Airwave t-shirt for the boys, fidget spinners for the memes, a bunch of cords in here. There's the AC adapter cord. Windows 10, cool. Uh, and these are apparently LED controllers. So uh, yeah, should be interesting. Now I actually don't know what is in the PC, so it's gonna be really interesting to see um, how these LED controllers. I really hope the case looks cool. I haven't looked at the spec sheet for the case yet. I just know the actual specs as far as GPU and CPU goes. Speaking about CPU, it's in this box. So this is the CPU for this computer we got right here. It's the i9. Now it's not the most expensive i9. I think it's like mid-range. I think it still goes for like a thousand-ish dollars. Of course, depending US to Australian. Obviously it's more expensive over here. All right, let's find out and see what's in this bad boy. This box is huge. And uh, hopefully it'll allow me to play Fortnite just a little bit better or worse. Probably not worse. Okay, let's get it. Let's get this bad boy. So the retail price for everything that's inside this PC is around 6,000 Australian. And then you slap on the monitor as well, which I think is about another six, 700. Oh wow, it's like an actual box, like crate box. How do we get into this bad boy? Dismantle the box. It looks dope. This looks dope. All right, I don't know if I've got the right way up. Oh. All right, yeah, we're Holy doing like that. Holy crap. It's like suspended. Is it meant to be so exposed? In before, they haven't sent you like the actual Like container. it doesn't even look built, it's so exposed. Okay, so the foam's stuck to the box and then it's sitting on the foam. And that's like so we can pull this through. out. So we can pull this out. It's like a nail through Okay, there. we can pull this out. No, you can't, look, there's a nail through it. Right? What the? F it's like the most what the PC. actual? I don't know if they sent me a PC or just a like half built. Like I, I've never seen a PC like this. That's See, oh, you've cool. got to like unscrew it. Um, raw. No, not really. You could just break around it. I mean, what's happening here? <laughs> what's happening? Here? Look, what's happening here is apparently they said we need a spanner to open it up, but they didn't tell us that. So now we get a spanner. Um, you guys put a, put a spanner. I don't know if I have a spanner. I might have a spanner. And welcome back to Locked and Unscrewed PCs. I have one spanner too big and I have one spanner too small. So this is what we're dealing with. It's, it's screwed into the actual PC. But it's loosely screwed in. Big one. What does it feel like? I, I, hey, come on. Ooh. Yeah, that one already worked. We could actually- If we had the correct spanner, yeah, we could actually lit, but around. <laughs> around the- this is just, it makes it such a mess. Yeah, Shot but... not cleaning this up. We I, just had a I vacuum. Go soon, so. We just had a vacuum clean up the car. Well, what what do you propose, cuck? <laughs> I thought you were enough of a tool for this tool. Right? <laughs> Six and a half hours late. Welcome to the PC war zone. We are down to the final screw. Um, you can say we got screwed. Definitely got screwed. Anyway, let's get off. <laughs> We totally got it done. Three, two, one. Oh, boys. Here we go. Let's just chuck them right here. Oh, ho, ho. Good as new, boys.
Alrighty, well that is it. Welcome to the fam. This is the PC. Um, I don't really na have a thing of naming PCs, so I'm probably just gonna... Nah, name this one. It looks sick. What do we call it? Uh, Abominable. Ab Abominable. Abominable? Abominable. Snowflake. I like Snowflake. Yeah, because it's like gentle, but yeah. it's unique. No it's unique, two and it's clear, and like Snowflakes yeah, yeah. look No two Snowflakes are the same. No two fl- Snowflake. Welcome. Snowflake. Now you're probably asking, what Snowflake got in store for you guys? All right, well, I'm gonna list out the specs and hope they don't get them wrong. Okay, so let's start with uh, Snowflake's CPU. We already went through it earlier in the video. It is an i9. So my current PC that I'm running is an i7. Um, also, the reason I went from a new PC to upgrading a PC instead is because I wanna actually have two computers anyway here. So this really does work. i9, 7900 Deca core. Um, like I said, it's like a mid-range i9. It goes for Australian $1,300. So the motherboard, like we went over as well, Asus Prime X299 Deluxe. Oh my God, you won't believe this. Guess what the case is called? Thermal Take Core P3 Snow Edition. That's so crazy. Well, I didn't, I didn't look that up. I didn't, that's insane. So GFX card, uh, the current one I have on my PC is a 980 Ti. This bad boy, 1080 Ti. So this is gonna be huge for all the games we play on the channel. And hopefully, I'm praying that with this setup, this PC in general, the goal is to try and get 60 FPS on Ark Survival Evolved on like high to ultra settings. Um, of course, you can find out if we achieve that on the second channel um, for the series. But we're doing some benchmarks in a bit there. Hopefully, we will actually get what we want. There's 32 gigabytes of RAM in this bad boy and it's all a DDR4. 300 hertz memory, so that should be pretty good. For hard drives, we're rolling a six terabyte. And then for the SSD drive, we're actually rolling the same one that I bought here for my Inferno Ninja, um, which is a terabyte SSD. Um, should definitely do bits, that's it in the corner down there. A terabyte SSD, my last computer had 100 gigabytes of SSD and it was painful. Hopefully I'll actually install some games onto the SSD drive so you can actually play them better. Because if you install them on the hard drive, those read write speeds really do like inhibit your gameplay. Or so I've heard. And then we got the lighting kit, which we're gonna hopefully try when we hook this bad boy up in just a second. And uh, Windows 10 and a bunch of other things. But that's mainly all the hardware. Oh, and the power supply. Rolling a Thermal Take Tough Power Grand 850 watt 80 plus gold modular set power supply. So yeah, really cool. I'm happy with uh, Snowflake, that's for sure. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, hook them up then, shall we? All right, so before we turn on the PC, uh, we obviously need a screen for it. So like I said, and we've hooked it up as well. Rolling a Samsung QLED gaming monitor. I think this one is curved. I never had any curved screen uh, in my office, so this is going to be very, very interesting. Okay, about to reveal this, uh, this bad boy. Let's go. Oh, yes. She's upside down. This is going to change my life. I hope it fits on my current uh, monitor rack. Hopefully it does, but this is my first curved screen, which will have at least 122 hertz. I think maybe 144 hertz even. Um, refresh rate, which is huge. If you guys game and don't have a monitor that doesn't have a refresh rate of 120 hertz, you're missing out. Right now, currently, this is my PC setup. And as you can tell, it is very messy. And not the footballer messy, it's just, it's it's messy. So, we're gonna clean it up in three, two, oh, one. Alrighty, step one. Desk is looking very clean. We're trying to do the benchmarks on the old PC. I don't think I've introduced you guys before, by the way. This is my old PC. It's actually pretty good. It's got like i7, 980, that's all I know. It's pretty good, it's not that bad. Boys out here trying to get 60 FPS on Epic, and I'm trying to load Epic right now on Arc. The game is frozen on me. It doesn't look good. Alrighty, well we just got the benchmark done. Uh, it was like 20, 60 to 30 FPS. You'll we'll see it later on in the video. Uh, but we're gonna take these monitors down. I'm very scared because I don't think the Samsung will fit here. Uh, it's much bigger and these are already maxed out on the mounts as it is. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. But yeah, we're gonna start taking it all apart. And the big focus is that we're gonna be able to use the standing desk setup 
When I first got this desk, I was really pumped to use the standing desk like features to record videos. However, I'd have to change the camera position uh, so that I would be, you know, standing up or down and it just got so annoying, so I just kept it down. We've got a mount for the camera that's gonna be like stuck to the desk. It's gonna go up and down with the desk, which is huge. Um, we're gonna have cords long enough so that they can actually, you know, reach the full height because at the moment there's so many cords down there. It's disgusting. We're gonna rip everything apart and uh, start fresh. I've done everything I need to do, so let's uh, power this guy down for the, uh, the last time. Well, he'll get powered back up in the other room as a spare computer, but goodbye. Goodbye, buddy. Let's get it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have been uh, cocked by the boys. Uh, this is the central mount to our mount system over there. You can't use it with this system because you need to get into those screws, but this doesn't fit. So, we don't know what to do. We might have to ditch the setup stand completely, which I'm okay with, but I'm really not. And I don't even have the other stands for the other things. I threw them out. Okay, solution. Keep the two on the end on their stands and then we just put them on his own stand in the middle. It won't be that much of a hassle. It'll still be okay. It'll still be fine. Let's get back to it. Okay, so problem two has been discovered. We're just unboxing the L... That's an L. Uh, the Elgato uh, HD60 Pro, of course, the inbuilt one. And I thought, wow, you know, Snowflake's nice and open. It'll be easy to just slot it straight through. But unfortunately, if I put it in this slot here, it doesn't uh, have the PCI plugs that go in like that. So I'm gonna need to work something out to uh, try to get these little ports into the CPU. Uh, how we're gonna make this happen, we don't know. Uh, it's probably gonna have to be something for the next episode. And uh, as we can see on the monitor front, looking pretty good. Uh, Billy, what are you thinking? I'm uh, need a little bit of help putting this bad boy in. Oh, okay. This looks insanely meta. Like I always thought people had a portrait monitor setup were a bit whack, but We've got normal curved to portrait. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of weird. I don't know if I like it. I think I do. Billy's brought on a very controversial decision. He wants double, double, portrait. double verticals. Double I don't know about this. So it'll fit because as you can see right here, we got a little bit of overlap right now. You want to go double trouble. I'm, gonna give it a go, see I'm trying to think because I play a game here. And I've gotten only like, iTunes there, which would look weird portrait. Yeah, look good. And might maybe. And then like Twitter over here. But it is Twitter perfect twi for Twitter's portrait. perfect for portrait. Facebook. Hmm. Facebook also. Any website, because the websites are made for And the OBS the OBS recording though. Alright, I think I'm rolling double portraits for the boys. Let's, let's make it happen, Bills. Alright, we have some proper lighting now, but this is the final result. I kinda like it. I kinda dig it. I don't know. It's pretty cool. See, see how it goes. So the next task that we're gonna go ahead is try to get these uh, black power strips just taped up against the back wall of this like receding desk line that stays when the desk goes up and down. Um, obviously making sure everything is uh, nice and good because this place was a jungle before uh, we took this initiative. The good news is I found a USB to USB. The bad news is the plug, or sorry, cord for it is like three, four meters. So, we're back on. Billy is taking wire game uh, very serious here today. I've never seen this. He ordered a bunch of stuff online in preparation for this, and I gotta tell you, it's huge. Look at that. Look at that. What are those? Cable management goals, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get a back shot, see how we're looking. Everything nice and concise. Uh, all jammed into these bad boys here. It's looking good. The setup's about to be YouTuber goals, realistically. But yeah, this is the standing desk position. We've got the mounted camera mount that we're gonna set up hopefully when we lower it, just cause it's a bit high right now. And I uh, might work with the microphone as well, hopefully have it on the left side so it doesn't get in front of the face cam. This thing here is huge. It's a USB rack, so instead of having to, you know, plug everything into the back of the computer, runs all the way up, up to here, and we've got an SD card slot as well, so 
I can just chuck the vlog slash video in and uh, deal with it here. So good. Alrighty, we're about to go for the first boot here. Um, looking pretty good. No cable connected, hopefully. This one scares me because we're using HDMI to display ports. So we're gonna see if that even works. I don't even know. Um, but we've got this here, which looks interesting. Come down here, Billy. Did you plug it? That HDMI looks thing? so dope. There's like lighting within the motherboard. I think this is the um, controls for it. I could be wrong, but if I just... Oh, hey, yo, that is sick. Yo, even the RAM lights up. The RAM, the CPU, and I guess there's like a little bit of reflective lighting on the GPU. This is bad though, boys. Um, I don't think it has Windows installed in it. Okay, so I found out two things. Uh, one thing, Snowflake uh, can have its little uh, thing come up. And the second thing, the GPU, it wasn't plugged in. This should work. Yeah, we were realizing the fans weren't spinning, so we wonder what's going on with that. Hopefully, this should work now. On. Fans on the GPU. Yeah, fans actually working on the GPU. We should be good, boys. This should, we should be good. Fans stopped. We got it to work, Billy. We decided to run help it out. We don't, we ended up using the not HDMI display cord, the black cord, I forgot what it's called. It looks like you haven't loaded correctly. Oh, you would be correct. Now we should get all these other guys online. Tomorrow. Alrighty, welcome to tomorrow where we have good news. We have monitors. This curved screen is actually gonna change my life. And so is this standing desk setup. I actually implemented it in today's stream. I streamed early today after we got everything set up. But uh, yeah, I just wanna show you guys the final Little bit of the setup, we're just plugging in the uh, switch and the Elgato. Because unfortunately, until we get the uh, little plugs that will allow us to uh, get this bad boy installed, uh, we're gonna have to focus on using uh, the old 60S. Just to show you guys the difference between my last PC and this new PC, here's like a little benchmark I did uh, on the game Ark Survival Evolved. Here is the gameplay on my old PC. Now this is on the max settings. I was barely getting 30 frames and it still didn't look very good because it was taking ages to try and render it in at that actual definition. And then this is the fresh benchmark on my new PC, epic flat, fully maxed out on Ark Survival Evolved and getting a clean 60 FPS, which for me is completely unheard of. The game looks beautiful. And of course, if you guys wanna see that clean, crisp gameplay on the second channel, be my guest. It's gonna be sick over there when we start the Ark Aberration series. We're really looking forward to that. I just want you guys to know that we took cable management very seriously here today. We've gone through just boxes and we, we, we stocked up a little bit too much on uh, the cable management side of things. And uh, most credit does go to this guy right here, Billy. He's, he's done a good job. We're gonna show you guys in a bit exactly the uh, cable management stuff he has done. I like to think it's pretty flawless. It's way better than anything I could ever do. But uh, nearing the end of the setup, just getting a little bit, you know, things cleaned up here and we should be uh, good to go. The only thing that won't be set up today is the VR though. We're gonna do that another time because it's, it's midnight the next night and we've just been very pedantic about it. Alrighty, we think the setup is pretty much complete. Guys, I'm gonna give you a little uh, computer desktop setup here for this PC unboxing video. Of course, before we do that, I just wanna let you guys know again, a big thank you to M-Wave for you know, sending out this PC for the boys, really do appreciate it. Basically, M-Wave is an online tech retailer for any Australian out there. Really do recommend them. I've used them before since actually this video as well. And uh, they hooked it up for my last PC build, I think as well. Anyway, this is it, have a look. So that's everything up and out there. Now have a look at the cable work, which for the most part is the man behind the camera, Billy. He's done an amazing job. Uh, have a look of what we've uh, got under here. All right, guys, 
guys, well, that is pretty much it. You guys got like a free little uh, room tour slash setup tour as well. This kind of turned into that, I guess. Um, and uh, a lot of people in my vlogs and stuff have been asking what this is. It's like a mystery box or something. Some of you guessed what it was. It's actually a TV, eh? Um, bit overkill, but it's lit. Cause then I can, you know, put my console, which is my Switch right here. Just some play down, sit next to Oddish. And have some games in between playing other games. It's lit. Alrighty guys, well that's gonna do for the setup, unboxing kind of video that we went on here. It started off as an unboxing video and went all the way through to like a complete room tour slash reset up. Uh, really happy with what we got here. Apologies on the little delay on vids, main channel and second channel. Boy is definitely gonna be hitting Arc Aberration for second channel, hopefully tomorrow, if I can sort everything else out with my life. Um, and of course, if you guys enjoyed, let us know a like or any down below. Let us know what you thought about this setup and uh, anything you guys think we need to improve upon it. I'll be down to uh, know in the comments section down below. And until next time, I guess I'll see you guys in uh, the next video. Later guys.